Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Today I am bringing you a little bit of cleaning motivation. I am going to be cleaning all over the house, including some chores that are just ones that need to get done every so often. Today I have kind of a light load work, so I thought I would take care of a few extra things and I'm hoping to give you a little bit of extra motivation today. So I hope you enjoy this video. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, today we are starting in the kitchen. Obviously my dishes just got done because look at the steam coming off of those dishes. It's awesome. So I'm just gonna unload the clean dishes really fast and then load up what dirty dishes I have. We just finished breakfast, so I have some breakfast dishes and then I have a couple things to put away as well. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I personally ended up taking about a week off of filming and editing. I just like realized that I was kind of tired and um, I have been filming and doing YouTube now for about 11 months with no break. And this is also the time of year when things get a little bit overwhelming with school and we are back to school physically. So I just needed a little bit of break. So if you are a subscriber of mine have wondered why I haven't posted in the last week, that is why but I'm feeling better, a little bit refreshed, and ready to get back to my regular schedule. So thank you so much for hanging in with me if you have been waiting.
So part of my plan today was to take care of this mess at my desk, but then I'm like looking at it and going, you know, most of the stuff is returns and I can't do anything with it right now. So I'm going to pick up a couple of things, but for the most part, there's not much I can do with this pile. If you saw one of my previous videos, I did a thread up haul and a couple of those things did not work out. So those have to get returned. And then I also had a pair of jeans that I have to take like 40 minutes up north to be able to return those to a store. So that pile is just going to live here for now until I can take care of it. Now I am finally in the living room, so I'm just gonna pick this up really fast. I actually probably need to wash down my couch and wash the pillows and the blankets and stuff, but I'm going to save that probably for next week just because I want to get some other stuff done today. But I feel like we always have like snacks and whatever laying on the ottoman and definitely always have to pick up the pillows and the blankets from cuddling the night before. So I'm just gonna take care of that now and then move on to some other stuff that I wanna get done. So we have a bit of remnants from a craft project me and my daughter just did yesterday. It needed 24 hours to dry, so that's why it's sitting out right now. So um, I'm gonna show it to you really fast. So uh, my daughter got this for her birthday last year. We decided to like wait to do it until we redid her room, which we are currently doing. So we decided to make these. These are really, really cool and cute, but let me just tell you, if you were to purchase something like this, it tells you to like supply a bowl. Don't use bowls that you're actually going to eat out of it. You should use paper bowls because the one I used is ruined now. Uh, and then also it's, it tells you to use a cup to set these on. Again, do a paper cup or a plastic cup because the stuff that you use to glue the strings together is like super, super sticky. And also wear gloves and don't touch your phone. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> so this is how they turned out so far. They're actually really, really cute. Although, like I said, it's like really messy to do. So I'm anxious to see how well the actual balloons come out of the lanterns. And if they turn out well, we're gonna hang them up in our room and I will be giving a room tour of hers soon. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see that. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna clean up this big old mess and actually I'm going to take down the birthday decorations from my daughter's birthday which was a few weeks ago too and get rid of the balloons. Actually we'll keep the balloons because she loves them. So I feel like I have been talking about my kids room makeovers for ages probably because it's been ages and it's actually taken us probably two months or so to get it all done just because moving furniture and getting new furniture and I had a big yard sale to get rid of some of the old furniture and just with them being in school and homework and stuff like that it has just taken forever. So we are so, so close to being done. My daughter's room is basically done. I just have to finish, like do another coat of paint on a couple of things. And then my son has one more project to finish up. And then once those are done, I'm going to film the tours. And so hopefully you will love them because I am personally loving the way they turned out. And I'm just like really proud that they have like nice rooms that they actually love right now too, because I feel like they were both in that kind of transition stage between like my daughter was like kids and now she's like preteen and my son was like preteen and now he's like teen room. So it's very exciting. Stay tuned. I promise it's coming soon.
So I wanted to share with you guys our new blinds. We just got these this past week. Uh, we used to have blinds up here, but they were like the really cheap ones. And I'm sure that you've seen them maybe in my upstairs cleaning, but we got all of the blinds replaced in the house. And they are like faux wood, like the two inch slats or two and a half inch, I'm not even sure, but they look so nice. So part of the problem with having these in is it's pointed out how dirty our windows are. So I'm actually gonna take care of both the inside and the outside of the windows so that it actually looks nice with our new blinds. But first, before I get started on that, I just wanna finish my regular daily chores. So I am going to quickly sweep and mop just so that everything is done in the rest of the house and I can concentrate on the big chore ahead of me. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I got this O-Cedar mop a couple of months ago. Before that, I was just using like a Libman microfiber mop, but I could not find the mop head. And so I got, went ahead and got this one. And I have to say, after a few months of using it, I really, really like it. I love that you can pop the head off of it and throw it in the washing machine. And I really like the bucket. I feel like my floors are getting a really good clean with this as well and I like the small like head of it because I feel like I can push that down pretty hard on my floor and get up any spots so I just wanted to mention that in case you are in the market for a new mop this O cedar one is really really good Now we are on to my final chore, which is the windows. And I got so excited to do this. It has been a long time since I have cleaned the windows. I have cleaned the inside, but if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't clean the outside of my windows. And it's just because I just don't think about it. This is a rental house and it's just not something that I've ever concentrated on. But when we got these blinds, it's like all of a sudden you could just see the dirt. And so our windows do like pop out. And so I went ahead and took care of both the inside and the outside. And I actually, to get the outside top ones, because I can't reach these from the outside just because there's like gardens and stuff that prevent me from getting up to the window when I'm short. I am actually just gonna like push up the bottom window all the way up and then sit in the windowsill and do it from the inside. You'll see in a minute. It's like, kind of a precarious position, but it worked. And I just am so happy with the results. You'll see a little before and after in a minute. And it's actually remarkable, the difference. And then I'm like, why did I not do this sooner? Anything I say will come off as wrong and you're not alone. Something feels out of place, but you have no tell. It's like we want the same things, but the lines we've drawn are too parallel. I can't sleep when you're not talking to me. Got me suffering inside and breaking. So I did want to mention that I also removed all of the screens and I did take them into the backyard and I just like laid out a tarp and took some soapy water and a brush to all of them and scrubbed all of them just because like I said I have never taken care of the outside of the windows but I did want to give the screens a little bit of a cleaning as well. I did not film this just because it was like 
later when I did it and it was just kind of um, like an afterthought. I don't even want to say it was an afterthought, but it was just like an extra thing I was doing kind of later in the day and I didn't get it all the way finished. So um, just so you know, I also did that and you'll see in a little while, like I was taking out the screens, but I was doing it wrong and it's so funny because my son came down and helped me pop out one and like a little stinker he just like pops it out so easily <laughs> the correct way and I was like oh my gosh I felt so dumb but it was so funny to me so you'll see that in a little bit just because I thought it was so funny I left that in do you ever have that happen with your kids it's like they just understand things a little bit better or like think differently and they just like do something correctly that you don't do and it's like them teaching you something because this happens every once in a while mostly with technology for us but this screen thing just cracked me up Also, I did want to mention that I am not cleaning out the window sills right now, and that's because my son is actually going to go back and do this for me. My husband cleaned the windows upstairs already the day that we got the blinds, and he did the inside and the outside, and then my son did the window sills. And so I'm doing all the downstairs windows, inside and outside, and then my son will do the window sills. So I did want to mention that because I we didn't actually skip it. It's just, I didn't do it because my kids do contribute to chores in our house. And I don't always show that kind of thing just because they don't necessarily want to be on film, but um, that is why that is not in this. So this video is going to be going up on Halloween and I'm curious if any of you guys are doing anything for Halloween. Are your kids trick-or-treating? Are you doing any kind of Halloween parties? My kids are, I think, going trick-or-treating. I don't know if my son is or not. He's kind of old for that. But um, And then we're going to go to a haunted house. Uh, I heard that about half of the people in our area will participate in trick-or-treat, but I'm just curious what other people are doing. And then also, I wonder how many of you are just ready for Christmas because I personally am getting such an itch and I want to decorate already. And I know like I won't do it just because I know my family will be like, what the heck? But I would just love to take down all the fall decor and just start getting ready for Christmas. But then I know if I do that I'm going to be looking at Christmas decorations for a couple of months and then I'm going to be tired of those before Christmas comes. So I'm going to hold off and try to be patient and wait as long as I can before I decorate. But I have to say that I am already planning out all the Christmas decorations and I even have a couple of crafts that I'm going to start doing soon and I'll film those and post those as well just in case you are in the same kind of mood.
If you're wondering about this middle missing blind, that is missing just because the blind that they brought was a little bit too long. So they had to go take it and get it recut. So that did come in later and then we were missing one upstairs as well because we basically have the same window on both the first and second floor. So both of those had to get recut, but both of them are in. And again, we are just so happy with how these turned out. So if you are ever in the market for new blinds, I would check these out because they're so good. They like push up and then you pull them down so there's no strings so there's no choking hazard which I know has been a problem in the past with like the cheaper blinds um, but these I just like cannot speak highly enough of the nice quality and then the other thing we are also getting these doors replaced on this back uh, there was like a seal broken and I don't know if you can tell but there is like water and debris that has gotten in there over time and it was like a manufacturer defect so we are trying to get those replaced as well and once those are replaced my windows are going to look so good so I'm so excited So I just finished uh, cleaning up the windows. It is unreal how much brighter it is in here. Like I just didn't even realize how dirty they were, but that's what happens when you don't wash the outside of your windows very often. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to go around all the ceilings and like knock down any cobwebs that have um, sprouted in the last week or so. It's, you know, starting to cool off and that is when like the spiders come in and start doing their little webs in the corners and they come up overnight. So I noticed a couple of them today. So I just want to knock all those down real fast and then that will be it for today. So the way I dust my ceilings and like the little cobwebs off is to take a cleaning towel and I just rubber band it around my broom and that is just the best way that I find to take these down. So as you can see, there's just like a little cobweb starting in this corner and then a little one over here. I just wanted to give you guys like a little glimpse of what happens and it really does just happen overnight and like it just happens in the fall. So this is just a good time also to see if there's any kind of dust or debris on the ceilings too. So this is just when I take care of that kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ever everything really, really fast because uh, it only takes a couple of minutes and this is just a good thing to do in maintaining your home. So that is all I have today. Thank you so much for joining me today with this clean with me. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of motivation for your own home. Please like and subscribe so that you can see more videos from me. I do post every week, twice a week, unless I'm taking a break, but I would love to have you here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.